I'm Chris from Healthy Futures and today I'm going to show you how to make a cacao smoothie. This smoothie is really easy and so good. It's a great uh, drink to have after a workout. It's a really good recovery drink. It's a great drink to have as a snack in the afternoon. You can even have it for breakfast. My kids love it. We all love this smoothie and you're not going to believe how easy it is. There's only five ingredients that go into this smoothie. So a cacao smoothie is made from 100% raw cacao powder, which is what this is. Now all chocolate is cacao and all cacao is chocolate. Um, chocolate is, comes from the cacao bean and you want to use 100% raw cacao powder for this smoothie. So this is chocolate before it's had any of the sugar or dairy or any other ingredients added to it. So it's not sweet at all, um, but cacao actually has more antioxidants in it than any other food on the planet, believe it or not. So it's really good for you. So all the more reason to eat chocolate, but you want to have raw, chocolate. Okay, so the first ingredient you want to put into your blender is almond milk. Hopefully homemade almond milk. You want about two cups of almond milk. Alright, so we're just going to pour that into my... I have a Vitamix here, but you can use any blender. Any good blender for this smoothie will work. You don't have to have a Vitamix. Okay, the second ingredient I put in is uh, bananas or actually one banana and I like to freeze my banana uh, it just makes the smoothie a little creamier when you use frozen bananas so what I do is chop up a banana into pieces and put it in the freezer for a little bit let it freeze and you're good to go if you don't happen to have any frozen banana on hand you can just use a regular banana but like I said I think that the frozen banana lends a little creaminess to the smoothie so I'm just going to put in my frozen banana in here. And then I've got one tablespoon of cacao powder. And this is what I showed you, the cacao powder. And you can get this at most any supermarket now. You see this more and more. People are baking with it, using it in drinks. Okay, so one tablespoon of raw cacao powder. Now the next ingredient that I like to use in my smoothie is called mesquite flour or mesquite powder. You see it either way. And here's the mesquite flour. It is made from the pods of a mesquite tree and it has a sweet sort of smoky flavor to it. It's almost malt-like and it tastes so good in this smoothie. Now, unfortunately, mesquite flour is a little harder to come by. I haven't found a Whole Foods that has it yet, but I think I'm going to start to ask them to um, add it to the stores. But you can get this, if you live in the D.C. area, you can get this at Mom's Organic Markets. You can also get it, oddly enough, at Rodman's, for those of you that are familiar with Rodman's. Or you can easily order it online. Just look for mesquite powder or mesquite flour. It's the same thing. So I put a teaspoon of the mesquite flour in just to give it a little sweetness. And like I said, it has kind of a smoky flavor. And then the last ingredient is cinnamon. And you can put as much or as little of this as you want. I just sort of sprinkle a few dashes in here. All right. It's not coming out as quickly as I'd like. So that's the last ingredient, cinnamon, okay? And if you do use just a regular banana versus a frozen banana, you might want to add a couple of ice cubes, two or three ice cubes to it. Okay, so then that's it. You just turn the blender on and we're going to blend here for about 30 seconds or so. It depends on your blender, but just about that long. That's it, we're done. So simple. So let me just recap for you what you need to make your cacao smoothie. You want to start off with two cups of almond milk, hopefully homemade almond milk, and then you're going to add one frozen banana, or if you don't happen to have a frozen banana, you can just use a regular banana. You're going to need one tablespoon of raw cacao powder, 
one teaspoon of mesquite powder or mesquite flour, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. And if you do use the uh, banana, not the frozen banana, but just a regular banana, you're gonna want to add two to three ice cubes or so. So that's it for the cacao smoothie. I hope you make it and enjoy it. And if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can just click right here. And I also want to put in a plug for my son Garrett, who's filming this. He has his own video production company called Chairlift Productions, and you can subscribe to his channel by clicking right here. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks so much.